Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Macho Gaming. In the last episode, I literally went through hell in Hell in a Cell with China at the expense of the hardcore legend himself, Mick Foley. And now we're going to be talking to Liv Morgan. Let's see what this story brings. You're certainly making waves around here. Are you still spooky? <laughs> Not so much. Cool. I actually wanted to talk to you about your work outside of WWE. You've made some waves yourself. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances, all on top of being a WWE superstar? You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work. A lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. Yeah, that does sound kind of overwhelming. That sounds overwhelming, to have to juggle everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you're interested in expanding your reach into Hollywood, would you want to do the web series? It's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means. But it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience on the bump. Don't remind me. You know what? Let's do it. They'll have me. I'll definitely do it. What's the gig? You've heard of Cheese Please, the internet cheese smelling show. It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. Yeah, that is a little weird. But I'll do it still. Big fan of smelling things. Right. Anyway, thanks for taking this off my plate. Makes it easier to suggest you than just saying no. And good luck in your match with Zia Lee that's coming up. Don't go stinking up the joint. A true Hollywood story. Okay, so AJ Lee is now heading into Hollywood. Well, first I gotta go through Zia Lee. <laughs> Zia Lee versus AJ Lee. There's something funny about that. Alright, so this is the last story that is on my plate before I can go back to talk to William Regal. So let's see where this leads. It can't be any weirder or bizarre than what we've gotten so far with. Excuse me, guys. With Rhea Ripley and AJ and a Alexa Bliss, huh? And I can't speak today. Alrighty, so I gotta fight Zia Lee. This Zia Lee is not here. I don't get it. The captain's been all over the internet because of a cheese-smelling show. You're talking about cheese, please. Love that show, and Cap was great on it. Her observations about Gruyere pairings were actually quite astute. Oh, this is cheesy. Even for you two. Oh boy, the terrible so puns are back. Oh, Arm drag. This is where Zaya will be tested. Oh, How much y'all want to bet AJ Lee smells like cheese now thanks to uh, the web show? And Zaya escapes danger. Oh crap. She countered my own move. No sell. Oh crap. Oh, she got out of there. Crap. Well, thanks for breaking my fall, ref. And AJ Lee gets caught. Just my luck. To be honest, I was not expecting this to go the Hollywood route. Getting harder and harder to kick out of. Uh -huh. 
Boom. Alright, time to get back in the ring. Uh oh. That's not good. Alrighty. Get up, Zaya. And they go for the pinfall. Boom. Count, ref, count. One, two. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, guys, I was not expecting this to go the um, the Hollywood route. Knowing Liv Morgan, I would have assumed she would have suggested creating a faction because of her history in the Riot Squad. That or have her give me advice on going after the money in the bank briefcase like she did. Oh. Alright, well, let me see what this is first. I guess I'll give you a try. I guess we continue on with the story. I honestly wouldn't mind if creating my own faction or joining the Money in the Bank. But whatever. I guess we'll just have to just stick with the Hollywood route and see how this goes. Alrighty, so what am I doing? So I got a match right now, but against who? JC Jane. Who's this? Is this from somebody from NXT? Here comes a real menace in the women's division. JC Jane. Well, if it isn't the internet, darling, the captain. Not just the internet. I feel like everyone is talking about her these days. She's got some serious buzz. But all the extra attention means more scrutiny. She's going to want to get a big win tonight. Kick! Oh, strong kick! My goodness. Cover up. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Oh, what a kick! Right to the gut. Alright, hurry up and get out. Okay. Uh oh, no, I, w I need to start hitting her with some strikes. Well, yeah, obviously. The match just started. No sell. Oh, I gotta fight her outside the ring? Okay. As soon as I throw her outside the ring, she will be. Top rope and curse blocked. Boom, Dez press right to the face. Alrighty, drop kick to the back. I gotta taunt the crowd, okay. Alright, 
At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. I'm waiting for the girl to get back in. Taunt my screen partner. How do I do that? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, she is really getting. Okay, that was weird. Finish off the audition with a pinfall or submission. Okay. Alrighty, back up to the top rope. Oh no, she countered. She was not supposed to counter. Oh crap. I counter right back. I highly doubt this will be enough to beat her, but we can certainly try. Oh! Okay. I was not expecting to beat her that fast. Okay, so... Now that we've beaten JC Jane and Zia Lee, who's next? Okay. I guess we'll just keep going. Geneva, it's been a minute. Hi. I know you're just here to train, but I got to ask, what was that about? What are you talking about? Your last match seemed like some pretty excessive showboating. Not as concerning as when you went all bad guy on Psycho Sally, or started floating people in the ring, but still, doesn't seem like you. That would be Alfie's doing. This agent who saw the web series and wants to represent me, I told him I'd try a couple things for him in the match so he could try to get me some jobs in Hollywood. <laughs> the web series? You mean that cheese smelling thing you did? Oh, you want me to believe someone saw that? And thought you had some sort of potential. Hey, I was great. Sure. What's the vibe on this guy? Does he seem legit, or are we talking cheap-looking suits and rental cars? Well, probably cheap suits and rental cars, if I'm being honest. I've actually never met him in person. Wow. Oh, you're killing me here, and definitely getting catfished. Been there, done that. Honestly, you may be right. I've had my suspicions about the guy. So far, no harm done. I'm focusing on my matches regardless, not some probably fake internet poser. That's why I'm here, right? Training for my match? Just be careful. When whoever it is reveals themselves, I don't want you to get hurt. Don't send him any money. Of course not. Good. Unless his family is in trouble or something and just needs a loan so his aunt can get surgery. Come on. She was probably faking you out there, Geneva. Alrighty, we'll continue the story. Shoot. It's starting to get like a broken record. Continue the story, continue the story, continue the story. I'll never finish the story unless I continue the story. Uh. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry I had to hear that. I have honestly been working early morning shifts recently, so if you heard that yawn, I'm sorry about that. Alrighty, so I got another match with AJ Lee. But who am I facing this time? 
Tegan Knox, okay. I don't think we've crossed paths with her yet. Tegan Knox, the captain is one of the brightest stars in the company right now. I heard she's generating serious Hollywood attention as of late. Cat needs to make sure not to let all this hype get to her head, or she'll quickly find herself on the wrong end of this match. Oh, spinning kick to the gun. The face has been planted. Basement drop kick. Hopefully that training pays off. And a slap to the face. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. And now she's looking to go top rope. Launching. Oh, what the hell? Whoops. Holy cow, Deacon Knox has a lot of fans. Showing some extra scouting. Oh crap. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Phew. That's the first time I've ever been able to successfully do that. Alrighty, now what do I gotta do? Alright, so I gotta get her to the upper right turnbuckle and then grab her. Oh wait, she's already going to Okay, now that she's stunned, she can't counter me again. Oh, that wasn't it? Oh, I just had to get her to the corner and then press... Oh, whoops. I misread that, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. Thankfully, it looks like Cap is the band of the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox. Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes. She's ready to finish this. Wait, is that a fan who just hopped the barricade? Looks like that man has some sort of business, but he can't what just the? interrupt the match. Where's security? I'm with you. Where was security at? No, 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 no. Kick out, kick out, kick out. What? That dude just cost me a match. Granted, against Tegan Knox, nobody special there, but if it was against somebody special, then I would have had a problem. Okay, let's let's just see what this dude wants. Assuming security doesn't haul his ass to jail. What the hell was that? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Alfie Juniper. You're the flesh here. I know who you are, Alfie. Oh, I am shocked to see you exist. What were you thinking interrupting my match? And that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility. Look, nothing I haven't encountered before. I realized that the director might need to do another take, but I just couldn't help it. Another take? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. What couldn't you help? Look, I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity. Although, I may have misspoken a bit. Why am I not surprised? 
I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? By any chance, is your friend shooting this in a garage? Not at all. I have two offers for you, co-starring with two top stars. I don't know, uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Bautista? I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena, or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista? Oh, shoot. Take the role with John Cena or take the role with Batista. Um, you know, AJ has history with John Cena, but she's never had history with Dave Batista. And I love Dave Batista's role in Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't get me wrong, John Cena is a good actor too, but you know what? we're gonna go with Batista. I want to co-star with Batista. I love the fashionable outfits and Dutch angles of an indie film. Perfect! <laughs> I think there will be a strong hat component to your wardrobe, too. So you'll dig it. I'll let the casting director know you're in! I'll talk to your people around here, too. I'm sure when I give them my Juniper charm, they won't mind you taking some time off to film. Alfie, thank you. I gotta admit, I doubted you. But you really came through. Honestly? Most people doubt me. That's what allows me to be sneaky. Like a ninja. Okay. <laughs> I'll admit, this guy is a bit annoying. But then again... Uh-oh. Yeah, I got a big roll. Thanks, Liv. I really owe you one for this. We want you to experience WWE. Alrighty, so I'm going to be in a film with Dave Batista. Is he in this? I don't know. I have never played this game. Or the story of the game, I should say. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Holy cow, I look like a soccer mom. Oh! It's Dave Batista. Coming back from break. First team to the set. But again, holy cow, I look like a soccer mom. Three months later. Okay, so now we are back again with the loading screen. So we did get to see a cameo from Dave Batista. Oh, I guess I'm going back to Raw already. What's up, William Regal? Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess Batista money goes a long way. I'm hardly there. Yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading. All around. I wasn't aware the film came out yet. No. But there's been a lot of confidence in the suspicious sandwich based on the dailies. Well, in any case, we're glad to have you back in action tonight. Perfect. And I've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well. You know, made it more bespoke to me. 
I'm excited to be back and bring some A-list buzz to Raw. A-list buzz. Very well. Holy cow, I'm starting to sound like the Miz. I should be glad I wasn't teaming with him because I did enough of that in the men's my rise. My lord, the Miz was irritating there. So wait, I'm coming back to Raw already? Uh, if I'm in action, who am I facing? Alrighty, well let's see what happens. But if I got an entrance upgrade... I don't think I'll skip this one. Let's just see what happens. Assuming the game will stop loading. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is Zoe Stark's entrance. So I'm facing her. Zoe Stark is Not a problem. Oh, it's just the 2K graphics again. It's the captain of the silver screen. Holy cow! And from Jersey City, New Jersey, AJ I gotta hand it to the cap. That was quite the arrival, and she looks like a million bucks. Hollywood suits her. Then maybe she ought to take the first bus back. Corey, stop being a hater. Goodness. I cannot stand Corey Graves. Okay, I'm, I've had enough of this. There is so much buzz over Cap's role in her upcoming movie. All my Hollywood friends are raving about it right now. Since when do you have Hollywood friends? Now Miz doesn't count. Nonetheless, WWE and Raw is lucky to have the Cap back. Okay, AJ's a little rusty. She's been gone for three months. But this is how I usually start all my matches. I usually start by getting my ass beat. And then I come right back. Bam! And all I gotta do is beat her. Easy. No sweat. I do this in my sleep. I gotta pop that arm out of the socket. Bam! Stupid ref. Get the. Oh man, the ref. Ha! Got it. Major roundhouse kick. Alright, let's go up to the top and uh, Alright, that deals Oh wait, no, I gotta get her back in the ring Alright, get up Zoe Oh shit. This is not gonna uh, be good if she gets her signature. There's a lot of things that'll give you whiplash, Corey. Blast 
Okay, there we go. No, call for the finisher. Thank you. My goodness. Oh, no! No! Ah, oh, shit. No sell. Dang, it's always just as difficult to beat when she was in the Queen of the Ring tournament. On NXT, when I was playing as Psycho Sally. No, stunner, stunner. Finally. Nope. Up top. On the, this is the top, whatever. I did not think I was going to beat her off of that. Oh, well. Well, that was my first return back from Hollywood. All right, let's see, what's this? Okay, let's keep going. I'm not gonna say that line again. It's becoming like a broken record. There's no way I'd say it again. It's just getting irritated now. Captive audience, okay. Evening, and welcome to Captive Audience with the best host in WWE and all of Hollywood, me. Ever since I returned to WWE from filming my starring role opposite Dave Batista in the indie film The Suspicious Sandwich, I've known that I have a special responsibility to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. <laughs> Strap in, it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. Oh, yeah. So they just basically gave me a Jimmy Fallon gimmick. Oh, what did I just sign up for? The suspicious. That's that's a terrible name for a movie. Oh boy, where the hell is this story going? Okay, so Chelsea Green, Alf, Alf, shit, I can't say his name right. What's on my social media? Oh boy. Is there anything in my DMs? No, there's not. Um, okay guys, I think I'm gonna call it right there. So next time we will either talk to Al Alfie or Chelsea Green. Drop get that like button, drop a flying elbow on that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all later. Deuces, ooses.